All right, guys, welcome back to a video. It's been a little bit of time, but if you watched my last video, which was Thanksgiving weekend, I was sick. Um, I have now decided that I probably had COVID. Uh, all of my other symptoms could have been any other kind of respiratory, maybe the flu, but I think, okay, so let's run through it. For those who have had this experience, like you can let me know, okay? So first of all, uh, you know, I had all these like, you know, symptoms, cold, hot, body aches, threw up, um, but that was something I ate, I think. And then I got my period and I'm coughing and I'm, you know, whatever. So that was probably like three or four days. And then I felt better, actually. Uh, I've noticed for like a week or so, I couldn't take like a normal full breath. Like I would feel like I was gonna start choking. So really didn't like that. So that was like a week and a half of like sick. And then I felt like I, I got better, but then for like another week and a half to two weeks, so we're still at that point now, I lost my sense of taste and smell. I know it's kind of out of order for like OG COVID, but um, right now I have some sense of taste, some sense of smell. It goes in and out. So that's where we're at now. And uh, I'm congested in case you can't hear it. So I need nasal spray a couple times a day. Like I can't do without it. Like I actually will end up breathing through my mouth, highly uncomfortable, or I'll wake up in the middle of the night, usually midnight, and I I just I can't breathe. Um, and I have coughing fits still, like the coughing fits where you think you're gonna choke, you know? So it is what it is. So while I do have some fragrance things to share with you here, I'm not gonna go too in depth. I wanna wait till like everything is better to really dive into it. Um, so that's the update there. We can, we sound, we might sound worse than we are, but you know. And the second update is uh, there is an Instagram post sponsored by Walmart. So, you know, whenever you get a sponsorship, you wanna drive as much traffic as possible because, you know, so you, you add value to their campaign. Anyway, so I decided to do sweaters and leggings and boots because that is like what I wear when it's cold. So this is one of the sweaters, super, super cute. I'm sorry guys, I'm still adjusting to the phone filming so I will focus on you as much as I can. How cute is this? You have this kind of elongated cuff, it's kind of like bubbly, what do they call these? It's not a balloon, I don't wanna say it's a balloon sleeve because it's not a balloon, it's cute. And then, you know, it's belted, it's long, there's pockets. I love it. I got it in another color, which you can see on Instagram. I also picked up a black sweater that's a little oversized and open that I could, that I have been wearing kind of as a coat to like layer, but it's just so oversized and perfect that, you know, it's like such a great basic. And with this sweater, okay, so it's so cute, right? So let me show you variations of, oh, and this bralette. It does beautiful things for your, you know, I have a medium on, I could have done a small and it would have really been, you know, but I wasn't going for that. So the deal with these sweaters is this, you can, you can like do this drape, which is cute, right? If you want to be this girl or, you know, you can be this girl, you know, kind of bring it in a little, you know, and create like a, a subtle drape, but I like rolling it. I kind of like rolling it and creating this like round, rounder silhouette with the lapels. Can you call it a lapel if it's a sweater? But yeah, so you know, this this vibe, like maybe I own a ski lodge, like I don't know. I don't know. Favorite. Okay, so moving on, that was like four or five minutes of random talking. Okay, sometimes you have to cut yourself off. So let's get into like things I've picked up since my last kind of Black Friday shopping video. Um, we will do another one, right, with fragrance because we can't really truly discuss it in depth right now. So I had mentioned I was like waiting for these boots to go on sale. They're Steve Madden, um, patent, mid-calf, structural, sculptural heel, makes it so much easier to walk in, fairly comfortable. I'm a heel girl, so, you know, it's actually more comfortable for me to wear heels because of like my knee issues and back issues. <laughs> So I'm a big fan. These are, I think, $139.95 at retail, and I was waiting for them to go on sale during Black Friday, and I think I got them for like 35% off. So after tax, I paid like 97, which to me, worth it, because you know, sometimes, you know, you want a nice going out shoe. They are currently on sale for like 99. So if you're interested, 
Steve Madden. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where I want to go next. Okay, Glossier came out with a Glossier U candle, as well as another candle, which I wasn't interested in. I was just interested in this one. So here's what the candle looks like. And it, if you don't like the perfume, you're not going to like the candle, okay? It just, they're, they smell identical. And I love when a fragrance house or like makers of fragrance can actually get their candles to smell exactly like the fragrance. Super mission accomplished here. The packaging itself, I also love. Um, Glossy is very interesting when it comes to packaging. If you've ever ordered from them before, if you've ever ordered any of their products, I really think they put a lot of thought and effort into creating interesting packaging. So here you have a frosted sleeve. You have almost like, it's not an actual wax melt, but kind of the idea of it being a wax melt. And then you open it up and the candle sits in there. Um, and then it says, fill in the story with your own memories, love G. And then it says, remove this insert and save the box. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, so cute. Like I would totally have this somewhere. I'd probably just have the candle in there, but that's just me. I haven't burned it yet, but based off of scent, I would recommend it. And I really can't see Glossy you doing a really shitty candle. Like, can you? Okay, so I picked up this duo from Ulta. It's the Mod. It's the Ariana Grande duo. So you have Mod Vanilla and Mod Blush. Mod Vanilla just smells like a really beautiful, sweet vanilla. This to me is a very fruity, light floral. Uh, it kind of reminds me of something you would get at Victoria's Secret maybe. Yeah, more so them than Bath and Body Works. And I'm not saying that to diss it. I think I like the scent. I like the scent of both of them. They smell good together. They smell together. They smell good separately. However, I will say that, I mean, of all of her fragrances, my favorite one is still uh, Cloud Intense. If you are someone that was like interested in Baccarat Rouge like me uh, when it was like really big two, three years ago, Baccarat Rouge is good. Baccarat Rouge X-ray version, phenomenal. And the same thing goes for Cloud. Cloud itself, I, I actually bought during like the like height of interest for Baccarat Rouge and I didn't really like it, so I returned it. Uh, but then I eventually picked up the Cloud Intense. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Like the best one I think that Ariana Grande does. And surprisingly, I think for personally thinking it's their best scent, they don't do a lot of like promotions with it or releasing more products related to it. Like, I don't know, I'm waiting for Ariana to get into the candle game because I feel like it's gonna be phenomenal. Um, okay, more fragrance things I wanna just touch on because we will go in depth in another video at some point. I purchased from Lazy Royal, Okcha, and Oil Perfumery. They're all owned by the same people, but they all focus on something different. So Lazy Royal does candles. Uh, I have a whole bunch. I would say if you're interested in ordering from any of these companies, I would recommend it to you, but I'm going to tell you what I think of each one. All of the candles, I think, smell quite similar to the scent that they are being inspired by. Um, this one, I think, was a free one that I got when I made a different purchase, but by the fireplace, there's a candle that they've done that is inspired by that. And I do think it's very, very close to the actual by the fireplace candle, which I have. They're all just slightly lighter, or if something is supposed to be more woody, maybe it's a little more sweet. Like there's just subtle differences. Uh, Okcha is their fragrance inspiration or inspired line. I would say that my sense of smell right now is not good enough to give you an accurate review of these but the the presentation is absolutely beautiful like the bottles are also beautiful i think they're running promotions on all their sites now so i don't know if you'll get it in time for christmas but get it for yourself during the black friday like height it was they everything was like on their websites you could get up to 35 percent off they also have their own scents that they are like original scents so um also something we like to see oil perfumery uh, again, scent to smell not great enough to even distinguish. I have a lot of vanilla scents here. We have Spiritu Double Vanille from Guerlain. I think we have Creed Sublime Vanille. Uh, just a whole bunch of like, honestly, vanilla scents that I've been wanting to try. Uh, vanilla Diorama from Christian Dior. 
the packaging is beautiful they're all made in france and because they're oils they last longer so i will like link all of these websites below this is not sponsored or affiliated or anything i'm just going to say that if you're interested in fragrance the way i am right now on all fronts home fragrance body fragrance etc like these are some really like quality products to look into okay so let's get into some makeup things i picked up some stuff from sephora when they did the Klarna slash Afterpay, where you can get like 25% off, and I also participated in that Get Gifting, where everyone got 20% off. So first of all, in the 25%, I grabbed the Gucci Blush in Tender Apricot. I know every video I've seen is basically saying, you don't need these, but they are beautiful, and I'm, I'm on that train. You don't need this. But do I really, really love this blush, and do I really love the way it looks when I have it on? Yes. So... You know, I am like everyone else. I also picked up another one of these kits where you get the Tatcha um, Indigo Overnight Repair as well as like a little mini of the lip mask. Yeah, the Kisu lip mask. So I just finished the one I had. I have a new one open on like my skincare table now, which I'll probably go through the entire one this winter. I am basically using it for my daytime and nighttime moisturizer. Uh, so... This is the backup of the backup, you know, for 20, no, 25% off. In the 20% category, I finally decided to pick up all these rare beauty things, which is so old news, but I finally, you know, got into it. I have all, not all of these, I have this on today, which is the rare beauty bronzer stick in the shade Happy Soul. I thought it would be too warm. And it is a little warm, but I feel like I kind of like that it's a little warm, like just warm enough. And like everyone says, they blend out so beautifully. These two are also amazing. I have Bliss, Happy, and Joy. So Bliss, Happy, Joy. They did have a kit that had like a full size and some minis. They were not shades that I wanted. Um, last year's kit is the kit I should have got because those were the kit. Those are like probably these shades, which it's fine. It's fine. We got them now. All the hype around these is so legit. And this is the brush that came out with these. I have, don't think I've ever been like, you need to buy the brush that comes with whatever product has been released. But this combination is truly beautiful. I have Bliss on today, the lightest one. You use this bl brush to blend. It is perfection one dot one dot blend and then we'll tap on the nose it is beautiful um i also use this to apply foundation today not my favorite but still works i almost want to get a second one to use for cream and liquid bronzer because it just blends out liquids and creams so so perfectly so we have bliss happy joy and then that's the happy soul these are of course you know much more pigmented swatches Okay, so Selfridges, I have some stuff. Oh, and Bobbi Brown was doing 25% off their site. So let me see, where do we start? Maybe we'll start with Selfridges. Okay, so I picked up their powder, the not their powder, the Charlotte Tilbury one that comes in this packaging. It's their Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish. It was significantly cheaper on um, Selfridges. I think this retails for 36, and I think it retails for 46 here. Uh, Selfridges did not do their event that they do every year where you get 10% off beauty and like 20% off everything else that they want to promote. They went through and did departmental or categorical discounts on select items. So none of what I got was really on sale, but it was significantly cheaper than in the US even with the discount. So I feel like this got really hyped and people really, really liked it, but I'm kind of like, it's okay. The other one in her kind of like rose gold packaging, I'm on my second compact. So that one I really, really love. This one, I guess it's supposed to be kind of like HD powders back in the day. It is a little blurring, but I also feel like on me, it leaves a little bit of like a white. So if this is for fair medium, I don't know. Unless it's, I mean, it says brightening. So maybe I'm, you know, missing out on that aspect for me personally. Okay, I also purchased the contour because uh, I mine is getting old, but I can't ugh. DHL is usually one of the most perfect delivery services, but I had to check in three times. It took almost like two and a half weeks for me to get my package, and it usually will take like two days, three days max. I had to check in because I wasn't getting any updates, and every time I would check in, all of a sudden they would find my package and it would be moving through, and I'm like, great. Finally, 
it's getting delivered it's not even delivered to my house i have to go walking around my neighborhood to look for it and then i realize that the whole thing has been completely repackaged because i mean i'm guessing customs probably did it but i don't know i'm annoyed um and i don't know what's going on with selfridges as far as like customer support like i can call them but like i sometimes don't have time for that and then the time difference there's no email that i can find to tell them that i have do not have my contact anyway i picked up the guerlain ombre g uh quads i picked up two i have royal jungle these are all kind of baked chalet and they're beautiful they're beautiful um in this one i would say this is more of a topper these other three have pigment you can tell that this one is matte this one is in mystic peacock and uh these are all beautiful these none of the, all of these have great pigment and like beautiful like performance i have a combination of these two quads on as well as so i do recommend those so i think here in the u.s are these like 85 or 89 on the selfridges site they're 62 so you know that's why i kind of waited to, to get these and i actually haven't seen that many people review these and the reviews are kind of like it's the kind of reviews where like it's definitely a preferential thing because I like something that's a little buildable. I like a little bit of shimmer. I don't need it to be super metallic. Like, I really like these and I would definitely consider picking up more shades. So Bobby Brown was doing 25% off and they had all these like free gifts that you could get with like by entering codes, but that wasn't really going well because I tried to order a few times entering codes. It's like, okay, if your purchase is over 65, you can get this. My purchase was beyond 65 and it wouldn't drop like the free gift in. I don't know. So you guys were telling me about this too, the Toki Doki. Guys, if you get this palette, it is so cute. I did not even realize these all move like this. And the embossing on here is too cute for words. Too cute. The quality of the shadows in here, the mattes are so, 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 so silky. And I would say this one is more of a topper shade and this one actually flashes like pink and blue, pink, purple, blue, beautiful. I've worn this palette all week. I have no complaints. I almost became one of those people who was like, do I get another one of these? Because I've been like trying to use shadow around the embossing. Like I don't want to ruin because it's so cute. I'm not even a huge Toki Doki fan. I'm just like a, a cute things fan. Love it. They also came out with the, what do you call these? The extra lip tints. Uh, there were two shades in this collection. This one is called Bear Ginger. I do have this on today. But then I topped it with a little bit of this bliss. It's very pretty. I, if you've used these on your lips, let me know if you've had a positive experience like me because there's some kind of silicone in here that like smooths out your lines a little bit. So this is actually much deeper than what I have on my lips because we put that very light pink blush on there. But if you've never tried these, I highly recommend because they are like a lip balm tint that has color and gloss and moisture all, all together. I have two other shades here that have already been in my collection. We have Bare Nude and Bare Pink. Uh, Bare Nude is actually kind of similar to Bare Ginger. And then Pink is kind of like this clear one that kind of, I think it's one of those PH ones, but it's very, very beautiful. Okay, so I also got this for free, which is a Bare Pink. So I already have one. So it's great to have a backup and kind of this like different kind of packaging. But while you could enter the code, okay, there was no code for this. That's the thing. There were no codes to get your free full-size gift. There were codes to get like a Toki Doki powder, which is what I entered. Um, and then I put in my order and tried and tried and tried. And I realized, okay, this powder is not happening. So I put in the order and then emailed them my order and was like, hey, I tried to get the powder. Um, and while their customer service was great, they didn't give me the powder they just credited my whole account like twenty dollars like refunded it back to my card which is 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 also fine but i really kind of wanted the tokidoki powder but in the long term i'm sure the twenty dollars back is better so they have great customer service it's just kind of not really what i anyway I'm not trying to like be obsessed with it so this one is bare ginger this one is bare nude and this one is bare pink they're all kind of similar but they're just a really, really beautiful product. And then that's why I'm recommending it to you. Anyway, that is like most things. I have some other things on this table, but I'm like, I don't want this video to be too long. And um, 
they're not that important to share with you. So thank you for watching and listening to this voice. I'm so annoyed listening to myself. At a, you know, certainly at a certain point you're like, oh, okay. Oh, is it like sexy or whatever? No, I just sound sick now. I just sound sick. It's like not cute or sexy or it's just ugh. So, right. Uh, everything will be linked below. Let me know the things that you're like, that you picked up that you're really happy about because I'm sure there's gonna be another influx of promotions because right now everyone's like pumping out gift cards right they're like oh get a gift card which also is a great idea but I'm sure there'll be end of year sales and like early January sales that will be quite good so let me know what you have your eye on I think I managed to pick up most of the things I had my eye on throughout here oh actually ugh, speaking of trying to keep this video short so I haven't been into bags I think the pandemic kind of put a lot of us like low buy no buy I was absolutely in that state but in this, you know, kind of Black Friday time frame, I picked up the YSL like or the Saint Laurent like belt bag with the gold monogram. Didn't like it. Um, I, I was able to get ten percent off of it, which was great. But like, it just sat weird on me. Like it, it looked like an appendage. Returned that. Picked up an Etro bag. That was an impulse. I was like, oh my god, I love it. And then I, I had immediate regret and tried to cancel the order, and it didn't work. Um, I picked up a kind of clutch thing from the Attico. So while it was a cute bag and structurally beautiful and it was like kind of like a oil spill kind of thing, really, really pretty. But the function wasn't there and I wouldn't really have it for a going out bag because it wasn't, it had like a wristlet thing. I like an actual clutch for like an evening. I don't necessarily think I like a wristlet because I think wristlets are very like, I don't know, I don't like wristlets. Okay, I'm very specific about bags. Um, I also picked up I feel like I picked up another bag. Oh, uh, something from All Saints that was like studded that looked really good on the model. Of course, did not look good on me because I don't know, maybe not a model. And then what, right now what I'm waiting for is I picked up a bag from Holland and Cooper, but it's also coming from the UK. It took like a week and a half to ship. It's currently at customs. So hopefully it comes in and it is what I envision because it's, you know, it's black, it's gold. It's like croc embossed. I mean, I'll link it below. Um, in case you're interested, but I think I got it for like 360 over like Black Friday time. So a decent price for like a nice bag, hopefully. Okay, now officially the video is over. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Uh, check out Instagram and yeah. Awkward ending. <laughs>